Hey everyone, Lexi here. I'm super excited to share a fun project with you on my art channel today, turning my art into a calendar using Canva. Whether you fancy a digital version as your desktop backdrop or a physical copy, we have got all the creative options covered. There's a link down below if you want to explore more. Go ahead, check it out. Let's jump right in. If you are regular on my channel, you would know that I'm using Procreate for sketching. Today, I have handpicked 12 artworks that I love and we are turning them into a calendar. I won't be showing the art creations process in these videos, but you can watch a dedicated videos link right here. Now, let's talk Canva. I did a quick search for calendar 2024 to see what's up and there are so many styles to choose from. There are many free templates that you can choose from, so you can look around and search for the template that you prefer. Once I chose my template, I hit apply to all pages and we are ready for the artsy touch. Uploading my artwork is next on the agenda. Simply go to upload files and pick your chosen artwork. I started by selecting a cool piece for the cover and resizing it. You can long click on the artwork and you will see a pop-up. If you select replace background, it will automatically make your artwork as the background. Now we can adjust the font size, move where you want the font to be and we can also change the colors of the font. We can start designing January and you just choose the artwork that you like to drop and replace the photos and right tap on the background. The good thing is that on your left hand side, there are suggested colors for the background. Canva makes it extremely easy to use as you can simply change the color of the font and if you right tap on the font, it will also have the suggested colors for the artwork. The other cool things about Canva is that you can select multiple fonts at the same time and change the colors at once. Then it was rinse and repeat for each month. Drag, drop, resize, tweak the colors and match those fonts with the artwork vibes. Once we have completed each month, it's time to download the calendar. You will see an option on your right hand side. Simply click and download. There are a few options for you to choose from. In order to ensure the printing is clear, select PDF print and I would pick GRB here so it's best for digital use. Once the download is completed, then you can save the uh, PDF print and the files. Go to file and search for the PDF version of the calendar. We have our calendar ready and you can see from January to December all saved in one file. If you like my calendar, you can get these digital versions from my online store. I put the link in the description below. This digital version is also good for printing. Now we are preparing to print our calendar. Printing your own calendar gives you complete control. You can check the quality, ensure accurate colors, and even choose the paper quality that suits your taste. Plus, the ability to print on demand means no more large orders with supplier. It's all on your own terms. But, of course, it is not all sunshine and rainbows. DIY printing can be a real time sink. Dealing with printing errors can be frustrating, leading to wasted paper and ink. Let's face it, it is not the most sustainable long term business model. In the end, the choice between DIY and outsourcing depends on your priorities. Do you craft control over every single detail or are you willing to sacrifice a bit of that for a smoother, more sustainable process? 
Well, DIYing a calendar isn't exactly rocket size. It does take some time. For smaller orders like the tinned calendars I printed, it took me four to five days for the design and an extra two to three days for printing and packing. Considering I'm diving into a creative business this year, I see this as a fantastic learning journey. In 2025, my plan is to streamline the process and maybe find a supplier to handle the printing and prepping. So, if you are thinking to make your own calendar, I hope this video helps. Stay inspired and here to a super artsy year ahead.